Welcome to Northwestern British Columbia's Great Outdoors, the setting for RAP. Reclamation and Prospecting is an innovative pilot program delivered by Northwest Community College's School of Exploration and Mining to First Nations students. A collaboration of government, industry, and educators, RAP is funded by the Province of British Columbia and Human Resources and Social Development Canada. The vision to create this program and the drive to make it a reality came from staff in BC's Ministry of Energy, Mines, and Petroleum Resources. Fifty First Nations students gathered in May at Susquehanna and Ganakwa bush camps, where students live as they learn about the minerals industry over the span of 11 weeks. The camps were created to mirror actual industry camps. We're at Ganakwa, 18 kilometers north of Smithers. There is a lot of stress at the, the beginning, just not knowing each other and uh, how people handle different situations. Everybody got close, everybody got together. You can't help but, you know, get to know somebody when you're living with them three weeks at a time. So I think that, that really, really helped our, our program and people stick with the program. The minerals industry needs employees who know how to get along in close quarters and the isolation of camp life. Students need to know if this life works for them. It's hard on, on everyone just because it's such close confines. You sleep with two or three or four other roommates. You have no real privacy and you have to get along because if you don't, then camp can be miserable. This is the reality of you know the, the environment that our students will be uh, working in when they graduate the program. Not necessarily in the alpine or subalpine. You gotta be physically fit. The weather is gonna change from hour to hour at times. You just have to be, enjoy the outdoors and be willing to work with it. Biological parameters. In camp, the... students regularly interact with instructors, team leaders, camp elders, and industry professionals. They experience the benefits of working as teams, of mentoring, and of exploring industry in the context of their culture. The way it works is that we usually work as a team or we fail as a team. The cultural instructor out here in camp, the camp elder, it's a great component of the program, having her presence here 24 hours a day for the whole duration. Coming to this camp and just being with the elders, learning off them, I, I found myself. I can honestly say that I found myself. You know, I just feel good about myself. I think that was a big part of the team leaders is actually being out there and working alongside the students. That worked really well for my team. When we first got here, um, one of the team leaders said, yeah, we're going to be climbing that mountain. I was like, no way, no way. And when, when we sat up there and took a class photo, we're all just like, we did it. <laughs> In the next decade, BC's mineral industry will need to fill an estimated 15,000 new jobs. First Nations currently face a 62% unemployment rate in the north. Exploration and new mines will be in their backyards. Industry is committed to hiring locally. What's different now, I think, with the First Nations is the first time the industry has recognized them as important players. First Nations can offer the minerals industry skilled workers and partners who know and care for the lands where exploration takes place. We had hired a couple guys and they turned out to be really good workers and then we, you know, we did a bit of asking and, and, and lo and behold they'd been through this, this RAP program. The strengths of the RAP program is all the field work and just being able to learn so much in such a short period of time. Learning about all the minerals and all the, uh, about the mining itself, you know, it's like I never heard about this before, never really actually uh, knew what went into it. One of the guys that we hired turned out to be a, a, quite a good manager. He understood camp management, he understood um, some people dynamics and, and you know, he, he's actually one of our top foremen now. In its three years, RAP has helped dispel many misconceptions. This new understanding will allow industry and First Nations to make more informed decisions. It's not a well understood industry. Um, it's, it's not just that the First Nations don't understand it, the general public doesn't understand. I learned that mines just can't start up anywhere that they want to, that they have to consult with the local communities as well as First Nations and they have a lot of regulations that they have to follow. Up in our iron vault was uh, basically just take notes of everything and anything that we see, uh, what type of vegetation's up there, 
if it's healthy looking, sick looking, you know, know where there's areas of potential environmental concern, make sure that everything looks healthy. And that is the kind of power that I think First Nations people and anybody that lives in any community and cares about it wants. They want to have the power and the intelligence and the education to say, this is how we want to manage our resources. With over 89% of first-year graduates working or pursuing further education, RAP has been a success on many levels. A lot of the field work is really highlighted when I hear back from previous students that uh, they, it, it's a field camp and it, we're teaching field work. It's something that you just can't teach in a classroom. I'm enjoying it a lot actually uh, from when it first started with all the classroom work that we had to do and whatnot. This is actually the fun part of it now. So I'm. Um, it's been a, a, a very good program, I'd say. Coming out and being back in nature and having elders available or having an opportunity to think about who you are and where you came from is an important element to maturing and moving on and making choices in your life about who you are, where you want to go, and what your role is relevant to your community. That's a particularly important thing for First Nations. Success of the RAP graduates reaches far beyond the camps to communities and families, inspiring the next generation to follow in their footsteps to success. Well, it's been good because uh, for years we've been wanting to connect with the younger generations uh, because there's been a real generation gap. I was thinking about going back home, doing the archaeology again. I had a job offer already uh, about a week ago and it was for doing soil sampling and exploration work. So. That's pretty much what I want to get into. I know a lot of people in our camp actually went on to work in industry or returned to school, whereas before, you know, being from small communities or villages, there wasn't a, a whole lot of opportunity for them. So I think the RAP program opened up a lot of doors for them. Dem At the celebration of learning, everyone gathered to share successes and to look to the future. In her address to the assembly, team leader Pam Mikolajczyk highlighted RAP's contribution to developing the working relationship between First Nations and the minerals industry and the optimism it has fostered for the future. So my hope is that you will utilize their skills in building new relationships with the mining industry. This could be in the form of exploration, environmental monitoring, prospecting, project development, and developing new companies. An added outcome of the RAP program is that not only has it provided employment opportunities, it's provided hope. RAP delivered hands-on, respectful education to First Nations youth. It gave them a taste of success, helped them reconnect with their heritage, and develop positive relations with mining companies that explore British Columbia's north. The success of graduates now and their leadership in the future is a testament to the partnerships that made RAP possible.